What's going on y'all? It's Kevin from Thick Boy Cleaning. Sorry about the delay in videos. I'm still learning the editing process, but I'm getting the hang of it, so expect more content coming your way. Anyway, in today's video, we're cleaning the carpets and floors in this empty rental unit. The previous tenants trashed this place up pretty good, so we were hired on to get this place moving ready for the future tenants. As you can tell, this place needs some serious TLC. I don't think these carpets were ever vacuumed or the floors were ever swept, to be honest. We also did a complete top to bottom clean out of janitorial, which I posted some videos about on my TikTok if you wanted to check that out. We were told the carpets and floors are only a few years old, so we we're hoping to save landlords some money on this job. Just check out how disgusting underneath the stove was. We found bottle caps, lighters, knives, and just a sea of trash that fell underneath there. But anyway, we we're going to get these carpets and floors looking like new again, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. So kick back, relax, and enjoy the rejuvenation. And this is why vacuuming is so important. Check out all the dry soil that we pulled out of this carpet and a few others. Nasty. So basically what we're doing here is agitating a heavy duty pre-spray to help the solution work into the fibers of the carpet. After agitation we follow up with hot water extraction to pull out stains and soil embedded into the carpet.
now moving over to the filthy living room carpet, we're performing the same process, except we may need to repeat the process a few times to ensure we get the carpet as clean as possible. Look at the difference from clean to dirty with the agitation alone. It's still amazing to see this after so many jobs. As I was saying earlier, we performed a dual method cleaning process again to ensure we got this carpet as clean as we could. Now moving over to the disgusting kitchen floor, we are going to remove the appliances and strip the floor of all the embedded grease and dirt. As you guys saw earlier, there was years of old moldy food, silverware, lighters, and trash underneath the stove and refrigerator. This floor definitely needs it. The process we're going to use here is using stripper with an abrasive pad on the scrubber machine that you guys see in my videos. And man, the results were awesome. It definitely needed it. So here I'm applying the stripper solution which we let sit for 15 to 20 minutes or so before scrubbing so the solution has time to break apart any nasty stains and embedded dirt.
was where the refrigerator and stove was. You can really see the scrubber going to work here by removing the grease stains and soil stains. After scrubbing the kitchen floor, we extract the dirty water with a suction hose and squeegee to our truck mounted machine and our van parked outside. And that about wraps it up for the carpet and floor restoration today. I'm going to show you guys the before and after videos and pictures so you can really tell how well these floors and carpets cleaned up. Also, stay until the end to see the filthy water that we pulled out of the carpets and floors. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Please subscribe, like, and comment what types of cleaning videos you guys like best. I'm going to start posting way more videos now that I'm getting the hang of the editing side of things. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day.